never got yeah. back. Quit loaning them out. That's the story you told me the last time I gave you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll stop them. Take them some down there. Well, yeah. at 7 o'clock, we'll call the meeting of July 11th, 2011 to order. Um, we're going to do the voting a little bit differently. From now on, we're going to have a roll call vote. Um, I think that would be a little more helpful for Jessica to, to hear who's saying what and, and help us move along a little bit quicker. Maybe not quicker, but a little bit better. Um, we're probably going to sit in alphabetical order once we get over there for that reason. Um, I would entertain a motion to recess for 30 minutes or until 7.30 to move to the Ritz. Okay. Roll call vote. Bronson? Yes. Byer? Yes. Duval? Yes. Lane? Yes. Hoffman? Yes. Okay. Five zero. if we started a fire and evacuate the building. <laughs>
this uh, on number six. Just to point somebody for anybody in there. Jerry Downing didn't express an interest in it, but I don't know if she's going to do that. Is there a three-year? If you're going to want to go six years, then I'm not going to. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know that. I don't know that would be good to do that until that happens. Yeah, she had that stroke and she said, I'll bring it over. Well, great. We want her out of here. She's done here. Yeah, if that's what it's going to be, I guess I'm very delegate one. I don't even know why we need one. I think that's what it should be. Well, and maybe we should just like learn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got to call this to uh, Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Okay, we're going to resume the meeting of July 11th, 2012, 2011. <laughs> we're going to uh, change things just a little bit tonight. We're going to use a roll call vote so that everybody can be heard and Jessica can, it will help her with her minutes and so forth. Um, during public comment, uh, once again, the same rules, will, you know, will apply. I would ask that you, you know, let's be civil with one another. And, uh, you know, if we want to do cussing and screaming, let's do it outside. The, the heat's kind of making me cuss a little bit under my breath when I go outside right now anyway. I don't think this is the place for it. Um, we have a lot of issues and, and we need to work together. So bear that in mind. Um, try and keep it to three minutes. Uh, Mr. Knappenberger will kind of be the timekeeper. And um, with that, I guess we'll proceed. Um, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll move to approve the consent agenda. Is there a second? Minutes of the, uh, the, uh, the minutes of the last meeting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You got to pull over that. You got to ask that to be withdrawn. What? You have to ask that the minutes be withdrawn. Okay. Vote on separately. Okay. okay. I would like to withdraw the minutes from the last meeting. There, there's an issue. Um, Kim would like to talk about the minutes and not approve them at this point. So we're going to approve the consent agenda without the minutes, and we'll talk about them in just a minute. So, do you, you want to amend? Okay. I'll move we approve the consent agenda minus the minutes. Use the, use the mic, guys. Is there a second? Sure, yes. Okay. Jessica? Bronson? Yes. Byers? Yes. Duvall? Yes. Hoffman? Yes. Lake? Yes. 5-0. Okay. Kim? In the minutes from last week, we had a section called the Courier Building. I don't believe that it was ever brought up with the, uh, that there was a bid. It was mentioned that there was a bid that was received, but there was no dollar amount that was ever mentioned to the council. So I'd like to have that amended. Okay, is there a motion to approve the minutes as amended? I so move. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Jessica? Aye. Aye. Fire? Aye. Duvall? Yes. Hoffman? Yes. Lane? Yes. Five here. Okay, additions to the agenda. 
I have none. Does anybody else have any additions? Okay, we'll move on to public comment. Uh, Mr. Hartnett. Sure. Just going by the list, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> the sniper sight on me and the projection ring on my very good uh, My perception of some of the things that have been going on lately is we're trying to turn this town into a retirement community. Everybody's grass, no inch high, no tricycles or toys in the front yard, nobody working on the cars. Uh, that's fine and dandy to a point, but we need a balance. Retired people don't have kids in school. Retired people don't spend any money, except to get out of town, go to the doctor, to go to Walmart. Uh, I spend more to fill my semi every time I fill it than most people spend on fuel on their cars in a year. And I'm sure Council Buy Councilman Byer can attest it takes about $300 a day to run a circle uh, on energy. Maybe a little less on some, a little more on some, but you know, we got to have people spending money in this community. The people putting kids in the schools. Uh, everybody like a new house and a new car. I don't know how they pay the taxes on it, but uh, you know, some people are struggling. Struggling just to have a car and to rent a house. Uh, I've, I've got an article from the Hutch paper, uh, Sunday's paper, it's called Neighborhood Division. It's about homeowners, uh, trusts, and dated communities. Uh, I can't see this very good because of the lighting, but uh, homeowners associations have served as the behavior police, banning lemonade stands, solar panels, hanging out the garage. One ordered a war hero to take down his flag because of a non-conforming pole. Another demanded a residence with brown spots under the lawns dive the grass green. People that have got their homes paid for be, are being foreclosed on by the homeowners trust because they can't afford to pay the dues because of all the people that have already been foreclosed on and the houses are sitting empty, so they gotta pass the costs on. Uh, the black italics say the treacherous part is that homeowners associations are acting like a local government without restraints and they have this extraordinary power. Well, I think, you know, we're kind of acting without restraints somewhat in this city. Um, <laughs> it's not a perfect world. You know, it, it just isn't. It, it would be nice if it is, but it isn't. You know, I know of two people in Stafford County that have died from bee stings, and possibly a third. So I think we need to ban flowers in the city that attract bees. You know, we need to get our priorities straight. I don't know if anybody killed from an untagged car. Uh, you know, this nonsense of untagged cars attract rodents. I mean, we must have some awful smart rodents, because I have a seaweed truck with a wooden floor that I keep in a shed. And I have one with a steel floor that I keep outside. Well, I can tell you which one gets mice in the head body. Uh, we're, we're at three minutes, Mr. Hartnett. Okay, well, that's about all I've got okay. to say. But I think we need to ban all the flowers in the planter. You know, somebody could be killed from a bee sting. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Sosa. Somebody else got a nice truck, but I don't see a road. 
more, you know, all these new things we're coming up with, I'm starting to feel like bait. Everybody's out looking for money with a fishing pole, and I'm the bait, and I'm a tax bait. Hey, right? Uh, if you want to get money, how about saving money? Or be a little more efficient. <coughs> I just don't see the money, you know? Where's the money, you know? Where's the people? Uh, so, when I talk to Jerry about it, he can't seem to get the stuff he needs to do the job, and that's your guy's fault. I talk about, you know, I'm trying to figure all this out, and you can't really put a handle on whose fault it is. But the streets ain't fixed. You got a good crew of men working for the city, and I don't personally think you can lower the workforce you got any lower based on the size of the real estate. You got too much land, and your town is shrinking too fast. Somebody needs to start doing the math here. You cannot keep knocking down houses and knocking down houses. You got a school, I read in the paper, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's like 16 kids in the second grade. So doing the math, next year is going to be what, eight? You know, I mean, that school's history. Should have been talked about a long time ago. Uh, Kansas has spent millions of dollars pumping runoff water into the aqueducts down in Wichita. It's supposed to fill up under the earth. Well, they got no runoff water. So your well is going to be history here pretty soon. Am I correct in saying it's only about 300 feet deep? Well, you're right around the edge of it right now. So it's going to be a problem pretty soon. It's going to be an expensive problem. So, I don't know, maybe when you turn on water and it's not working, you go, ooh, you know, you know. Uh, so, having him run around giving me a ticket on my junk cars, which I find an insult, you know. And as I told him, give me a ticket for my yard needs to be cleaned up. But I don't have junk cars, and I take it as an insult. I take it highly person. But yes, my yard needs to be cleaned up. And he got my attention, and I'm cleaning it up. So is anybody else around me. So from that standpoint, it works. But if you need a couple bucks, I'm a taxpayer. Don't be running around giving me tickets, you know? What's wrong with coming up? You know, I got this warrant, this thing here. I read this thing, I read this thing, I read it. You know, your ordinance 969. I read it. Well, you look at 80301, your very first one. Everything on there is good common sense. And the rest of these three pages look like a lawyer had too much time on his hand. You know? What's wrong with me going down and saying, clean up the damn yard? Is that a big deal? You know, and he comes and tells me, you know, I mean, he's going to put a fear in me, but I'm smart enough to know I probably ought to do something. Right. But you got a problem with streets, population is leaving, you got too much real estate, not enough taxpayers, school is shrinking, and it's huge, that school. So I kind of think your direction is getting a little, in this business, these people here are the only people who live in Stafford, as far as I'm concerned. The rest of them are home watching some goofy movie or something. At least these people come down here. Right. Some of them are pretty upset. I'm not really upset. I'm probably disappointed more than anything. Uh, we, we've gone over three minutes by uh, quite a bit, Mr. Anyway, Sosa. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Lou Morgan. Lou Morgan. Come down here, please. Come down here, Lou. I got to see you. Make sure it's you.
So I would like to see the city council put their heads together and try to get businesses to come into town and offer, you know, jobs and whatnot and try to stimulate the economy here in South. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Julian. Thank you, Mrs. Julian. I can't read. Rachel Cox. Rachel Cox, I'm sorry. Rachel Cox. Well, I thought, I didn't know if he was going to speak. Do you want to speak, Mr. Julian? I'm. Sir. I still got a problem. No vote is a yes vote. Okay. The last thing is talking about all this junk. Stuff the city had, what we want to do with. Mrs. Hoffman says, I didn't understand it, so I didn't vote. Does she know that means yes? Do you know that means yes, Miss Hoffman? You know I didn't what? say that. You said it. You said it. Now are you? That's, you know you said it. About the uh, ordinance that they were trying to pass? I, I um, couldn't hear you all talking, but it was about something, as I recall, about getting rid of some stuff for the city that wasn't any good. But whatever it was, you sat right in that corner and said, I didn't understand it, so I didn't vote. I want to know if you realize when you don't vote, that means yes. Yes, I did. Well, then you voted yes, didn't you? Yes. And, uh, now I want to say something else. While we're nitpicking, sending people around taking pictures, hauling about grass being mowed, and everything else, but it needs to be getting rid of the drugs. We need to have an officer checking all the tag numbers. Some real county. That's where most of the drugs are coming from, is Reno County. When they see a Reno County car, they ought to follow it so they don't get a signal or don't do something to stop them. And check them out. You get rid of these drugs that's killing our kids, killing everybody. It's ruining the whole town. Thank you. Thank you. Rachel Cox. Rachel Cox. Okay. Gail Cash.
I can't read right, I'm sorry. You're Richard Cash. Yes. Sorry. I just want to say that I just, my wife that was a travel nurse for years and years. That's the reason that 305 staff in our house has been empty for so long. We debated on whether to move back here or stay in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where we had a home. Well, her grandkids are here. I need not say no more of why I'm here. I wanted to stay in Myrtle Beach. She would not hear that. I had to go back to Saturday, where I'll be close to my grandchildren. So I sold my house, and I moved back to Stafford. And this is what I'm hit with. All of these, you got to paint this, you got to fix that. Um, uh, you can't have old cars. I'm an old car now. I love old cars. I got cars stuffed away in barns that I want to work on. Am I going to have a problem with this when I pull them out and start working on them in my hobby shop, which I've had rented for years and years? I don't want to go through this. I don't want the police knocking at my door and say, hey, you can't do this. You can't have old cars. They're a rat haven. Well, I've never seen a rat in a car in all my life. I've never seen one. Uh, I did have a retractable once they eat the wine. So I can't say there ain't none. There is. But I do want to work on my old cars. And I just, I'm worried about the way our city is going. Because I'm stuck here now. I've, I've, I've devoted everything to get back to Stafford and, and relocate here. But if I have to, if it gets too rough, if you guys are going to clamp down and be this hard on us, I'm going to have no choice but to put my house up for sale and move back south. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Gail Cash, do you want to speak? Okay, thank you. Lori Foos. Thank you, Lori. Lacey Hayden.
find people right here. So that's all I got. Thanks, Lacey. Thank Kim Freeman. Volker. Thanks, Anita. Gene Dodge. No comment. Uh, let me think, Don. Joyce Rubel. And I'm sorry, but somebody comes in my yard and tells me 
I've got to cut down my flowers or a tree. I want to say, you pay for it then, because I'm not doing it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lynette Jansen. I'm 
I'm sure you've tracked it. You're going to get a letter at some point about that. I have a vehicle that's not running. I'll probably get a letter about that. But I am doing the best that I can, along with many, many people in this town doing the same thing. Okay? Thanks, I Lynette. We, we've gone know. over. We need to stop. I apologize. But the main thing is, is basically, if you guys get the people together to do something positive. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, forgive me here. I'm going to make a stab at this. Uh, Karen Dater. Is that correct? Come on up. I'm down there. Come, come on up, ma'am. I don't hear very well. to department head reports. Mac. You got a mic? Yeah, last time we got our lines. Through the way several polls. got a firm block, block from OPPD, a firm A. When they could pay us, I still have to produce if we're generally uh, using 2,800 kilowatts to get this an hour, I still have to generate the full 28. The last year when it was on Midwest, West, they could not make to produce the first thing. I just had to produce the third. Is it cost effective for us to have this contract? Um, I mean, is it, how many the way it is right now for the next five years? Is it cost effective for this year to have that? This year is going to be a push. Yes, it is because for some reason we can buy power only to be cheaper than we can buy from Thank you. Even with the six dollar pass, the big difference probably is actually getting. So you're doing the best you can with this city, the best they can, and you're carrying on 
the power plant picking it up and doing it when they need it. Rowena, thank thank you. Those were good questions. I, I, Are the kind of things that, that you can present to us that help us understand what's sure. going on? Sure, I, I understand. Um, I just would ask, you know, p public comments over with, and I, I just can't entertain questions from everybody and still get through what we need to get through. But I appreciate your questions, Douglas. I got several things. First off, Joe Byron and I had a conversation Saturday. And I, he's one of the reports from the city court, and I think we have it worked out the way he wants. So what I have here for each one of you is a copy of the last two city court sessions. And I told Joe, from now on, they will be in your packets. So you can see what the court did the week previous to. That don't work, but you know. One Don, you're there most of the time. <laughs> also, last meeting, the issue of that little scooter was brought up. I called City Attorney Hammondberger. I didn't care if it was added to our ordinance. I checked with Iowa Patrol. It is not a street legal vehicle. It falls under the same thing as Japanese mini trucks, UTVs, etc. It could be added to our ordinance. However, the person that's asking about it, I don't believe that's a driver's license at this time, and that is required. Uh, what we did is we went to Walmart. We took pictures of the scooters and the boxes, and it clearly states on the box it's not for street use. So I will pass these down to the council. Let's take a look at these. I just would like to have them back from my records. Thanks, Doug. I'm sorry. Sure. Doug, I have a question. Yeah. Um, Ms. Hayden talked earlier about uh, us not having a police force. Can that's you, a rumor. Can you talk to that and can you tell us how that's been started? Or I, I heard that for the very first time tonight. People on both sides of me are shaking their head like they don't know what's going on. We as a council have never, ever discussed about ever doing away with the uh, police department or anyone on the police department. We have just asked you to enforce the ordinances that are, have already been on the books. Is far that as correct? I, far as I know, that is strictly a rumor. I know, I mean, I've heard the rumor too, it was going to be changed to a part-time police department. As far as I know right now, that is all rumor and that is all I've heard. Thank you. Anything else for Doug? Jessica? I just have one thing, and I, I have a reading of communication from a citizen here in town. It says, 
invoice for the city of Stafford for Roundup Concentrate used to spray noxious spine weed in and along alley east of Main Street for last year, $120. This spine weed has now become a problem all over the city of Stafford, and the city is doing nothing about it. I've done my part yeah. and spent over $100 on Roundup and other weed chemicals in the last year. There's the extraordinary high prices for utilities here, the need to water my property, to keep it looking good for the benefit of a couple of city council members. I have no choice now but to build a city so we control in my area. Thank you, Jerry Siebert. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to old business. Ordinance 997, delegating a public officer. Sorry. The uh, state statutes require uh, for any nuisance violation that the nuisance violation be initiated by the governing body of the respective city. The League of Municipalities has issued a legal opinion which states that the governing body of those cities can delegate that to a public officer to enforce nuisance ordinances. The purpose of this uh, ordinance that I've drafted uh, is uh, language uh, primarily, I've, I've tweaked it a little bit, but it's primarily language uh, uh, from the League of Municipalities uh, their model ordinance, which would delegate this authority, uh, which would allow the governing body. Hold on. <laughs> which would allow the governing body to uh, designate a public official to be the one in charge of enforcing this ordinance. So I would propose that we. Uh, I don't know what your actions want to be tonight, but that's, that was a request last time from uh, Kim Hoffman regarding uh, how we're going to enforce these, and so that's the purpose of this ordinance. No, I explained there's two sides. There's one for the vacant side, which you're talking about, and one for the other side. Well, there's, in nuisance law, there is, uh, it can be enforced by the uh, city council. A petition can be, can be initiated in the city council. Uh, and that can be, and that's the purpose of this, is to allow them to designate an officer to start that process. It's a process where a public hearing is held in front of the city council. Uh, we've also uh, chosen to enforce the nu nuisance ordinances through the use of, uh, uh, of uh, tickets in city court. Uh, it has become, it's been easier to manage uh, the docket load. Uh, the judge has been very gracious in allowing people uh, a certain amount of time to get these cleaned up. If they're cleaned up before they came to court the other day, uh, I did not even ask for court costs. If they voluntarily took care of these issues, uh, I felt that it, was, it wasn't even worth trying to collect court costs on these ordinance violations. So we're doing everything that in the city court side of things that we can to make this as painless as possible if we just get cooperation from the public. Uh, we're trying to work with people. If they need time, the court has given them time. And, and I think that's been our approach in city court. Uh, it may not be what the council wants to hear, but we want to try and work with people. We want to try and get the city as clean as we can. We understand that there's things that that take time to do, and we're willing to, and the judge has been very gracious in allowing a lot of time for people if they have a disability or whatever. So uh, I really appreciate the work that she's done in making this process less painless uh, due to the fact that we've been ordered to enforce the code. So uh, we're trying to work with people, and so I guess I don't know what else to say. Do we have to, do you have to appoint a public officer or can we, do we have to appoint a public officer or can we continue um, uh, using law enforcement? Uh, I mean, is it better one way or the other? The right of entry concerns me. Yeah, I, I think we need to appoint a public officer. The right of entry, if law enforcement's doing it, it's being misconceived as an illegal search and seizure. Okay. And a public officer would have the right of entry. 
Okay. Does the council have any thoughts? If you want to continue it, that's fine. We don't have to take action. Dude. Uh, I'd like to ask that Ms. I'm here to see if we can't repeal the 996 ordinance if they're going to pass the 997 until we have a chance to talk about that. I was just going to suggest that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Arlen. Is that all right with the council? to table this until yes, yes. Yeah. all right new business repeal ordinance 996 Arlen yes. would you come up here please six at all. You had nothing to do with it. The only thing that you've got to do with this ordinance right now is that you can you have the opportunity to repeal this ordinance. This Constitution of the United States and also in that Constitution is there's a copy of the Bill of Rights. So anyhow <laughs> The reason, the reason that we have a constitution is our forefathers thought at some time or another there's going to be some people in this country that are going to have their problem with somebody else in this country. Now there's nothing in that constitution that says if your property looks like crap that you have to do anything about it. Also, if your property is beautiful, you don't have a problem either. That Constitution works for every single man, woman, and child in America. Article 4 of that Constitution is what Doug was talking about, the illegal seize and suit. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Okay. Before we had this 996 ordinance that was adopted in, by the council in 2007, now Todd, I don't know whether you were there or not in 2007. Were you on the council at that time? I don't believe no. so. Sir, I no. think you got your ordinance 996 was well, just passed a couple of months ago, about a month ago. Yeah. Well, what, whatever the number of that ordinance is, it's just carbon, the one I'm talking about. Is that 996? 996? What is it? 969, I think. 968. Okay, okay. This ordinance was approved by David Kirkendall and the city clerk at that time and the council in uh, in 2007. Adopted the ninth day of July 2007. None of it, none of it had anything to do with that ordinance. Get passed. Maybe, maybe he might have. I don't know whether it's all there or not. I don't think so. I don't think so. But, but it might have been. I, 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 I tried to, today, I tried to go back and find the records oh, of the ordinance we had before this one. I got it in the archive somewhere, somehow, sometime. I might be able to produce it, or my attorney might. Now, over the last 30 years, I'm telling you, the last 30 years, the city of Stafford has had this problem about junk and abandoned cars. This is not the first ordinance that they ever had written by any attorney. It, the first one might not even come through the League of Mis Municipalities, whatever you said it, that you guys look for 
the lead so you guys can follow. Okay. That ordinance stated in it some of the same conditions that this ordinance did, but it wasn't working. <coughs> so the city council that passed this one decided to change it a little bit. They tweaked it. They tweaked it a whole bunch. But in the process of tweaking it, I never ever had to go to court over this ordinance, but I damn sure went to court over the other ones. I'm the only individual that ever lived in the corporate city limits of Stafford, Kansas, that ever proved the point that what the ordinance was then and what this ordinance is now and what the next one will be violated my constitutional rights. Yay. Now, what I want to tell you guys is the only reason that I went to court over this deal was nobody ever, one dead gun time, come and ask me, hey, Art, would you remove about 30 of these damn junk cars you got in town? Didn't ask me to move one. They print up a damn ordinance. And they made me feel like a criminal but that man went down to the restaurant and told everybody that anybody stood up at the last meeting was either a thief or a, a liar or a cheat or whatever, or a criminal. He ain't got good to come and tell that to my face, but he can black down the record. Well, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that if you guys want to push this issue, that you're not going to get no virgin on this deal. I've been through this before. And I've spent a lot of money. Just because you have a city attorney hired now, I can tell you back to run here on my back and wrote the first damn words. This man is not a constitutional attorney. He's sitting there representing you with his views of what the municipality people tell him that there's an ordinance in both stupid Egypt. And you guys are being suckered in to go along with that. But at the same time, you think that because what he tells you that you want to do is gospel. There's one book that's got the gospel in it. It's called the Holy Bible. Oh, we're running out of time, Arlen. What? We're running out of time, Arlen. We're not running out of time. I'm on the agenda. I know you're on the agenda, sir, but we're running out of time. Well, I'm not out of time. I'll tell you when I'm out of time. <laughs> you're out of time, sir. I could be out of time, but I guarantee you, you can throw my ass out of this place. I'll be out of time. But I'll be back next time, the time after that, the time after that, do you guys get straight? Okay, yes. sir. What? We do have a problem in town with junk. Can you say? There's agree? nobody in the world ever said that. No, uh, just, just listen to me and quit arguing, okay? We do have a problem with junk, right? Yes or no? We got junk everywhere. Okay. But you know, you know, you know, in a formal automobile. All right. Can if you don't like what we have written, I'm very happy to rewrite it. And I would, if you want to help rewrite it. Why don't you present, send me something that you can live with, and we'll look at it, and we'll we'll look at it and see, you know, if you think you know constitutional law, why don't you write an ordinance that you think that would work in this city, and I'll look at it, I'll I'll have probably have a second opinion of it done, and we'll tweak and we'll tweak it to where it's workable. I mean, I'm not opposed to changing it, what you've got on the books. Our problem that we have with any ordinance that you guys make up. However, wherever you get it at, the main thing of it is you only want to impose it on certain people. And well, you know, I mean, we, have, we have selective law enforcement. This ordinance states that two people have to sign a complaint. I went down to City Hall and asked, her, asked the city clerk, how many people have signed a complaint? No, not one. You right. guys are the complainers. I mean, that, that's, and that's the way it's written, okay? If you don't like it, I'm telling you, Write something up. We'll look at well, it. Why don't you make? This why don't you? If you have, if you have such good ideas, you put them down on paper, and we'll look at it. Why don't you make this man here that serves out the tickets go by the ordinance? Why don't you 
they bring the damn ordinance and the tickets at the same time when it says on the ordinance you got to have two people complain. Because we're if we're we're using the city court as opposed to the now if you want to go through the city council procedure we'll be happy to if you want your ticket written that way we'll be happy to do it. No, there won't not, be a ticket. That's not going to work. I mean. You can't make exceptions for one person and let the other person do something else. It's, it's not fair. It, it ought to be fair for everybody. Whatever's good for I'm not any better than anybody else. I never claim to be. But if I got I'm just as good. Okay. All right. We, we're we not going to get any further than this. Uh, I want to ask a clarification real quick here. I said that according to the ordinance, you guys are working as a town. Two people have to sign off on the complaint before. Well, that's what I was trying to do. If you listened to me earlier, when I when I talked about nuisance ordinances, you can enforce them through the court proceeding with a, with an ordinance. I mean, with a ticket, or you can go. There's another procedure where you can go through the city council. The city council can initiate their own complaint, and they have a hearing in front of the city council. So there's two ways we're there's two ways we're trying to enforce them. Was the proposed ordinance I wrote nine nine seven? That, that was the proposed ordinance I wrote in nine nine seven. Yes. Okay. Now is that so is that the ordinance you're working under now? No, we didn't. We didn't. They haven't adopted it yet. They tabled it. So but, what does the ordinance that you're working off now say? Well, what you've got a copy of it right there. Okay. It says it takes two people to sign on a complaint before it's a complaint. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. And we're also, did. but we're. Okay, so that's correct, right? That. And yet, and yet he said that. Because we're enforcing, we're using another section of the public and uh, okay, nuisance law. I was at there's a the there's a public council. nuisance law in so our the uniform city public code. We're going through city court. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Well, that was part of the, I mean, that, that's included in the 99 or the 969 ordinance is, is any kind of, uh, th anything that'd be a hazard, yes. Jun so I Jun a list of yesterday that included 67. I went around with the environment code also. Yeah, yeah, it, it's included in that same order. Okay. Thank you, Arlen. Rowena?
Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the No, it was. Okay. <laughs> 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 Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention. Part of this has to do with the Constitution. Mr. Knappenberger, please pay attention.
You're passing? I'm passing. All right, sir. We'll move on to uh, Joe. Joe Byer, excuse me. Uh, Mac? It may not be turned on. No. It's on. It's on. Let's go back. Oop. There you go. Uh, Mr. Dodge, I think, come in the uh, council a few months ago and need some help to remove some stuff from his property. Has that ever been done? Yes, Mr. Dodge did come in a couple of months ago and did uh, receive a uh, call from the council. No, I haven't done anything about it yet. Yes, I will do something like that. It's just actually um, if I can say this um, Gene has talked to me several times about it and so has Mac and they have had an uh, issue with getting together so okay. it's still on the I wonder still on the list if it's taken care of or not and Doug pretty well answered my questions earlier so I don't have anything for him so he said that he said that Doug had answered his other questions, and so we're going to move on to an executive session for non-elected non personnel. I would entertain a motion. I'd like to make a motion for 15 minutes for an executive session for non-elected personnel. Is there a second? Second to be there. Oh, sorry. What? The mayor, council, legal, and uh, city clerk. Second. Joe seconds it. Non elected personnel. We're going to talk about uh, ways that we can streamline things in the office. Broadson? Uh, Okay. We have some chairs set up back here, so if you'll excuse us. Okay, let's come back to order. Is there uh, any action the council wants to take regarding employee evaluations? I make a motion that we uh, do as the supervisor recommended. Is there a second? I second. Sorry. Thank you. Um, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll move we adjourn. I second. We appreciate you all coming out tonight. Thank you.